Welcome to the Tush Twins. Where, where is the, I, the Tush Twins we have to have? Okay. Now, this is the Tush Twins. Tush Twins. Tush Twins. Yes. On it's it's going to be a new presents. Marvel comic. Yeah. Heard on MalcolmPresents.com and other websites, which I don't know where they are yet. Somewhere but they will be on at a, website yeah. near you, at a website near you. Yep, it's kind of the Tush pl Twins plus one. The Malcolm. <laughs> I, so, I, won't, all right. I, I won't say part, what part of the anatomy I am. All right. We, we kind of know that. <laughs> because, because it's a, uh, you know, a, a, a GP type of show. Okay. GP, PG, F, PG, FU, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Paul. Is it a P, PG or is it an FU show? Gen, general FU? Public. FU? FU show. Yeah. I don't know if I could do an FU show, but I don't think we could do that on YouTube. And That's this right. Is the yeah. the, so fun. For us. Okay, listen to me. Today, William Shatner, aka Captain Kirk, 90 years old, went up in William Shatner's, in, in uh, Jeff Bezos, uh, the Blue Origin Shepherd, New Shepherd capsule, which is shaped like a penis. No one can tell me otherwise. It is shaped like a penis. It looks yes, like a it penis is. taking off, it looks like a penis coming down. It is remarkable to me but then again it's jeff bezos <laughs> i don't know yeah or, or, but, or, then, or then again could it be in your mind max no no no, no every no. every commentator has made some remark about the way this capsule capsule looks it, it's not just me trust me no nope. so yeah I, I i don't know sometimes i don't trust the the opinion of women when it comes to uh, sexual orientations, because they always see, you know, some sort of male, male uh, influence there. Listen to me, listen again, I'm using that word and phrase again, look at the footage of this rocket today. Go online, see it, wherever you wanna go, CNN, ABC, it's showing the capsule. You, you tell mm -hmm. me, and then next week I'm gonna ask you, how's that? Okay, so, so Paul, did you, 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 you know, we all grew up watching Star Trek, right? Yep. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper. The Kohanim. Malcolm and I spoke about that yep. earlier. Uh, so he picked anyway, that up from his the temple. I think it was like the rabbi that did that. Uh, yeah, uh, well, that's, that's yeah, yeah. He did it because he remembered as a child going to temple and he brought it into Star Trek. Well, yeah. and you'll, yeah, it was, it's in the, the afternoon service of Yom Kippur. That's where that is. And you actually, you do kneel down during that service. And, and the, the high, you know, the rabbi was the high yeah. priest. For the high priest. Used, used this. And, uh, and it's live long and pro prosper. It's not nanu nanu, you know? So, so anyway, so he went up today. You, know, you remember that, that the, that William Shatner's he he did a rendition of uh, the um, Elton John's spoken word Rocket Man, Rocket Man right? Oh, he yeah. did, he did sure Rocket I Man. I remember. It's hysterical, right? Okay. <laughs> so it was. I know, but then. But that doesn't he have a whole album? Uh, yeah, he had an album. It was like he did um, um, MacArthur's Park is melting. He did that one. I mm -hmm. I was. I didn't know what to do with myself. I, I was like rolling on the floor. <laughs> but but William Shatner, aka Captain Kirk, boldly went when no 90-year-old went before. Uh, he is the oldest person to be in space or to hit that envelope of space. And uh, it was quite I, I, I amazing. Did, yeah. He just upon landing, he said that was unlike anything they described to him. And he said, I hope I never recover from this. I hope that I maintain what I feel, uh, what I felt was, because he said it's it's kind of indescribable, indescribable, which is kind of cool, especially to Star Trek fans, right? Yeah. What was your favorite episode, Paul? Oh my God. Or one of uh, the favorites. Tribbles. Trouble with Tribbles. I was gonna say Tribbles. The Trouble with Tribbles. <laughs> But then there was the one with the black and white. Right, that's the one that I like. That was because the black and white. If you had it on the left right, side, right, exactly. You were a bad person. You were the. You were bad if you had the black on the right, right side. 
you were good. So right. the people, the opposite was prejudice. It was okay, great. Let, let's see how, who was the lead in that? Who was the, uh, William Shatner was in it. No, 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 no. Oh, no, who, the, who, the who was the one who wore, wore the black and white paint, right. you mean? I don't know. Oh, Tell me. I forgot. I know who it is. I just don't know his name. Frank Gorshin. Frank Gorshin. Frank Gorshin. Right. How, how, as I say, how come I can't remember what I had for dinner last night, but I can remember Frank Gorshin? Frank Gorshin. He was a great, yeah. great, he was a great imitator. He, uh, the impersonator. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was. So that was pretty cool. I mean, I would love to go up in space but you know i i saw some uh apollo uh two apollo missions take off i went to apollo 16 and i mm -hmm. went to apollo 17 which was the first night launch which was like amazing because we were right on the grounds in the vip section and you, it literally felt like an earthquake it, it's in it is indescribable so when when shatner said you know it's unlike anything He's, you know, that he can describe. It's the same thing. Yeah, and I saw way, yeah. Maxine, I've heard people describe you as spacey. So me? Yeah. I'm not I'm not spacey. Paul, am I spacey? No, maybe me, not you. Oh, maybe I'm you. Not, okay. I've never, no one has ever said that to me. You're the first one. You well, think I'm spacey? Really? No. Right, let, let's not go into I want to go into the other thing which yeah, we talked about. Man. All right. I want to go into things that you guys that you guys have done in I your just youth. told you two things that I, I did four. I saw two Apollo launches and two shuttle launches. That's four thing, rockets or shuttles taking off. Have and you the, and they all have you like, did they have all you, like, Malcolm, seen did, that? Did they all look like penises to you? No. Oh okay. no, only the Bezos one. It's either his head. I don't know which head. It He's looks like his head. <laughs> the question is, to me, it looks like the bottom head could be the top head. I don't know. But don't let your little head tell your big head what to do. Right, yeah, well, that Malcolm, is, remember that. That's not the definition of a man. I'm sorry. Is it? I don't know. The definition you're, you're of a man is somebody who's you're a too little machismo. head rolls a big head. Yeah, well, whatever. We think. So... <laughs> Anyway, well, that, that was in the news today, so I felt it was apropos to talk about Star Trek and, you know, Uhura. Uhura? <laughs> Uhura! <laughs> uh, well, too, too, boy, too, too bad, bad Leonard Nimoy isn't around. He would have, that would have been a great uh, duo, him and uh, uh, Shatner. Well, uh, well, you'll have to ask Phil about Leonard. He worked with him. Phil wrote some stuff with him. Yeah. So yeah, ask it, it, Phil about it in your next show. He did mention that, I think, in some of the shows. Yeah, yeah, he, he did work with him. So so my first thing is, like, we just spoke a little bit about this because it's newsworthy. You know, we, we're, out, we're in with the news, right, Paul? we got to yeah. get, get in with okay. that. Okay, okay. Now the important question. Were you guys Brooklyn Dodger fans? Are you too young for that? No, I'm not, I'm not going there yet. I'm going into uh, how is your face today, Paul? My how did you feel today? when they took out the staples from the neck? I could actually turn my head. Okay. That's I good. Turn, I could turn my head. I could look. I could drive now. Ah, uh, mazel tov. Thank you. Uh, I'm feeling a Did lot better. Did it hurt when I took it out? No, I didn't even feel it. Really? No, not at all. Even all the rest of the stitches. I had another like 50, 40, 50 stitches out besides that. Huh? That's, that. That's how many, how many stitches total? I don't know. There was a lot in my back, Jesus. but it's almost all gone. Everything wow. is healing so well. I have none. The one of my chin is gone. Uh, the miracle creams that this doctor gave me is making my the black and blues dissipate immediately. My mm -hmm. cheeks are still slightly numb, but I can feel around my face now, which I couldn't feel. Uh, okay. It's really, I'm very happy. This doctor is an, is an artist. He's not a witch doctor? Yeah. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, 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 ting, tang, walla, la, bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh. Uh, remember that song? Uh, that, that goes into the way back machine. Yeah. Well, can, you, can you smile? For three, this is three weeks today. Can you smile, Malcolm said. Yes, I can. You can smile. Yes, I can smile. Look at that. Yay. Like that. Say okay, cheese, now, baby. Now, 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 now my question is, what is your next surgery? 
No, he's not, done. That's it. I'm just taking no, I, I, I will personally go over there and just lock her in her house. That that would be yeah. that. That would be that. Yeah, because you know if you had to have uh, surgery on the back, you know, the backside, yeah, both of you would have to go together. Because <laughs> we're the Tush twins. We're right, because you couldn't couldn't uh, change him. No one's no, touching my touched. butt. My butt is no, just no, enough. I need no one to touch my butt. No one's touching my butt. Okay. And, and then, and then, of course, the, the you know the next area is the bosom. Who yeah, no, go? I think um, mine's fine. The way mine's fine. You know, we're okay. Okay. It does. It does. It. 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 it never mind. I'm not <laughs> answering that. <laughs> so only you would say that. Yeah, I smack you. So it's all good. I'm glad you're feeling better. Mm -hmm. And uh, you had the doctor your... says within about between now and six months. Um, everything will be extremely like I'll never know I even had any surgery except the look will be there. I won't have any problems. And it usually lasts about 15, 20 years. And by then who gives a crap? <laughs> you probably. We'll be in our 80s, our late 80s, and we'll be going like, you know, still yeah, but, twins. Yeah, but, but, van but va vanity is vanity, no matter how old you are. That's, That's true. true. And not that I'm vain. Ha 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 ha. Wink wink. They wrote that song. I think I think yeah, the song they, so they said vain. it was Warren Beatty. I think it was you. Uh so no, Monty Python, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, you know what uh -huh. I mean? <laughs> if, if I had a plastic surgery, I think I, I'd reduce my nose. Yeah. Okay. I think I so let, let us know how that goes. Well, you you, you would know. I wouldn't know. But, but, but I'm you'd, a chicken. You'd just so. be, after, you'd be off the air for a while, huh? No, I wouldn't. I'd just have a big bandage on my nose. And you'd do it anyway. Of course. Because, yeah. Oh, God. I, I, I mean, the, the show must go on. That's right. Yeah. Well. I'd probably do it from the hospital bed. <laughs> yeah, we, we thought we'd get the uh, redhead to do it, but um, we, no, we let her. Still, uh, we gave I was her still a, out. What? The anesthesia. I was out till 430. I know you were out. I was trying to get information. Good luck to me. <laughs> the only one who gave me information was was Ivy. Because I she didn't cause have much. She didn't. She didn't. Um, yeah, I, I we, 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 had a, we had a conversation about that. Yeah. Over, over the Zoom, I don't see the difference. You were beautiful then, and you're beautiful now. Thank you, Malcolm. Yeah. yeah, I don't. It looks pretty. Yeah, I mean, I, some difference, but really not a lot. I mean, it, uh, again, I might see it. I mean, in person, you know, I probably can see certain things. But yeah. over the, you know, the Zoom. It just made my face smoother and made the jowls go away, made my neck more pronounced. I don't have the wrinkles and the lines, mm. which I didn't have that much, but I got it before it got worse. Yeah, I would just do my second chin over here, which is... Which I get, which I think everybody gets when they get older. I didn't yeah. have that, but I just wanted more of a pronounced neckline, and well, I'm well, very happy. Well, wait and till you get older. You're a kid. I know. I'm an alpacata. You're I'm a baby alpacata. now. Now I'm 49. 49? I thought it was 43. I'm confused. Uh, no, I'll take 43. I'll take any. Okay. I'll, I'll take anything. Oh. Okay. <laughs> who, who is it that? I'm uh, happy to be here. Was it Jack Benny who always stayed at 49? 39. 39, okay. That's true. Yeah, he was a card. Well, well it, it's funny. My, uh, my my son just hit this, uh, the younger, just hit the 25th birthday. And That's I remember awesome. when 25 was, uh, you know, uh, uh, an age that you got older. You know, you were old. You're, you're 25. You're a quarter century old. Never you were, you, you felt were, that you know, at all. Me, I was out of college. I was out of I college. I was three years. 67. I never well, we were 25. I, I forget. I don't feel it now, but I no. never thought about, oh, I'm a quarter century. I never, ever thought well, that. Well, I, I know maybe men feel it because it's more of a responsibility of a man, you know, to, to earn a living and to get married and to have a family. I guess not anymore. Oh, no, no. I said back then. Yeah, in the old days. The old days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in the before, before times. Uh, well, the way but, back but, machine. Yeah, we went in the way back machine. But as a uh, matter of fact, I remember there was this uh, a sales secretary at uh, my station where I worked at KFAC, and it was her 25th birthday. And I, I think I was like in my mid 40s, and my station manager was in 60s, in the 60s. 
And she had a birthday party. She invited us, invited us all to, and uh, she had a, a sign up for the big one. Right. And, and everybody that was like in their 40s, they were laughing at me. What do you mean for the big one? You know? Right, right. I would be 25 laughing. years old. So now she, I think her last birthday, she was 60, and I, I'm still friends with her. And she spoke, and we had a good laugh over that. She says, Now I know what you guys meant. Right. Well, it, it's 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 all good. Age, I got, is a number. age is a number, and I don't believe in it's how you feel in size, not what the age number is. Now, what, what, what's funny is, uh, like uh, you know, to to do anything over the telephone now, when you, you give your ID, you always have to say the month, uh, the month, the day, and the year you were born. Right. Mm -hmm. And every time I say the year I was born, I go, "Oh my God!" Well, that's I, that's old. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't think about it that much. Maybe I don't just, think about it. Oh, okay. You know, I, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm a I'm a mid twentieth century kid, obviously, but uh, you know, that's. Are, that's are, are, cool. are you guys? Baby I'm, I'm retro. You know. Are, are you guys baby boomers? Yes, we are. Yes, we're boomers. Because I think I'm we're a war boomers. baby. I'm a boomer baby. We're a boomer baby. We're boomers. You're boomers. Bit of boom. Bit of boom. Fifty-eight. To what 1978? year? Nineteen fifty-eight. Nineteen fifty-eight is boomers. I'm fifty-eight. And what happened after? Wait boomers? a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. No, boomers is no. We're boomers. Right so, after World War II, up to nineteen fifty-eight. There were no. It's, it's. I think it's the sixty-one or something. It was, I thought it was it, it, where, where was it started? 1946. It's it's 60 up to like 60. If you're 60 years old, you're a boomer or something. So I think it's 61. And then, so the, but but then I think it goes even past that a bit because no no. Then but but what is Gen Gen X doesn't start till like the late 60s. So what's in the middle of that? Um, yuppies. Yuppies? No, yuppies was another well, generation. Yuppies? Well, the yuppies wasn't a generation. It's like thing. the hippies and yuppies. You know. Hippies, man. Well, Tom Petty a... said his sister got lucky, married a yuppie. yuppie. You know. Sister <laughs> got lucky, married a yuppie. Yeah. Well, or just if you're going to San Francisco, be sure to wear flowers. Wear some hair. flowers, right? I did. I've been to San Francisco a few times, and I did wear flowers in my hair. Fantastic. I, I saw did. the I saw the picture. Uh, I. <laughs> I went, yeah, I've been to San Francisco a number of times and uh, um, I don't think I wore, I might have worn a, I think I wore a shirt that had flowers. I don't think I had flowers in my hair. There, there was a marvelous picture, a picture I think is with uh, P, uh, Peter Sellers about this, uh, I think it was a dentist or a doctor who goes, uh, he, he meets this young hippie girl and I'm forgetting her name, but he sort of like goes crazy. You know, uh, he becomes a hippie. Oh, that's the name of the mirror, the, the movie. But it takes place in San Francisco, you know, the right. Well, that's the that's height. The that was started. the height of it. Someone asked me the other day if I was went to Woodstock, and I said I was only 14, and my parents would not let me go to Woodstock. It was just not happening. I wasn't yeah, we weren't it's... old enough to do to, to make that, you know, try to make that run up to the but, but since State when Blue did you like, listen to what your parents said? I, I think we listened more than we thought. I mean, I mean, we would sometimes get away with stuff, but, but I, going I to Coney Island was just like a sneaky thing. But never, we never. No, yeah, we, we sneakily never. went to Coney Island during the teacher strike when we were specifically told do not go to Coney Island. But, 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 but actually, this is the original concept of what the show is supposed to be about: things that you did. That you never told your parents about. Well, there's only so much to. you can do a show about that. You know, how many things can you do? I well, mean, it depends on what you well, did. You better find some like really like badass people then to do that with. I don't, I don't, we weren't, you, I think you think, or maybe we get, gave you the impression that we're more badass than we were. You know, we, we <laughs> did pranks, we did yeah. things, but what? We were so badass. My oh, grandmother, yeah. God bless her. May she rest in peace. I <laughs> love Grandma Sylvia. She saved our butts more than once. Yes, she did. She did. Yeah. She saved our butts. 
Uh, yeah. well, what, what did the, you guys uh, do that needed saving? We used to make phony phone calls. I think we so touched. much from Maxine's phone mm -hmm. and then mine uh, that the phone company was threatened to turn off Maxine's phone and a grandmother got on and oh my God, we were doing like, is Mr. Whitehead there? No, this is Blackhead. Sorry, wrong pimple. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was that's 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 really dangerous, huh, Malcolm? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was dangerous. I mean, you know, I, I uh, this song, and Maxie would play something on the guitar, right? And you'll win five hundred dollars, and we go on from the radio station, and people would get so excited, and we go, ah, you lose. You lose. <laughs> You know, it, it, I would go, gotcha. can you tell, you know, can you tell what I put, I, I, I hit the E string on my guitar and I'd go, you know, can you, can you tell what instrument this is, you know, what, and what, and what string it was. And then they would go, you know, it's a B, it's a, it's, I said, well, you got it wrong. It really was an F, you. <laughs> Uh -huh. so, uh oh. And I, uh oh. That, now I'm going to get in trouble with YouTube. <laughs> we're, 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 we're not with the FCC. Oh, the they, FCC. They, they, they're going to come in and turn your television off, turn your phone off. It, yeah, very possible. Because Big Brother and, is watching you. Now, what, yeah, well, well, well. Two things were we, there were two prank phone calls that we used to do, which one I didn't like, but my friends did it. They would call up, uh, there was a local delicatessen that the guy was a nasty SOB call them up and they would order a big order and give them a phony address or, 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 or tell them I will pick it up. So, you know, in the deli, they had to cut the meat. So no one ever showed up, which uh -huh. I, I didn't approve of. But another one that I found funny was uh, we'd call up a random number and we'd call up, you know, I, I, is Bobby in? And they say, I'm sorry, there's no Bobby that lives here. Uh, and you, you do like, you know, in, in a few hours, you do like 10, 15 phone calls like that. We said, oh my God. In there, we got the wrong number. Then the final call would, uh, someone would call him and say, this is Bobby. Do I have any messages? <laughs> <laughs> that, my that was, I would call up people and go, is my mommy there? Who is this? My mommy said she'd be there. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I remember that. I remember. I, I don't know where my mommy is. I have to find her. And, and yeah, then they go. Look. <laughs> that was crazy. That, that was, yeah, that was, that was really not nice because they actually thought we needed like help. They called the police. I got a phone call from. Right. It, it's possible. I mean, uh, yeah, we did the food thing to to certain people you know, too. We called dog cook tonight. Call chicken delight. And, and we I also never... we'd order pizza and send it somewhere. I mean, we and send it to people we didn't like. Right. It, yeah. Oh, is that why I, I got it, that? They, it shall go nameless, but we did send pizzas to people we didn't like. I uh, see that the more the more you think about it, the more mischievous you were that you didn't <laughs> tell your parents about. Yeah. Did your mother, well, did your mother approve of that? No. Oh, no, 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 no. We'd get our butts kicked if we if they knew that stuff. But I, you know, yeah, you did stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It, nothing yeah. beats my mom. Uh, she wanted to go to the ocean for a swim with her friends, and she was she had to watch my uncle Malcolm, who was really much younger. And what you know, she, what never, they did? she never watched me. No, my they <laughs> they tied my uncle Malcolm to a tree in the backyard. <laughs> And they left them there for hours and they went to the beach and they came back. He was still there. I mean, talk about mischievous. Uh, your, your, mom your, tied up her brother to a tree. Your, your mother did that? Yes. I can see your mom do that. Yeah, they wanted to go swimming. No, no, no. How old was she when she did that? Probably she was like. 14 years older or 15 she was there was a big difference so she had to be you know early teens now you know? now i you know now that we're talking about family now i see where you get some of your things from oh ruthie is definitely uh she has she had a streak in her for things but not th this is when she was a kid and i mean i'm assuming the story is true but who knows I i'm assuming if they did do it it was a lot less time 
or the friends try to egg my mom on to do it, you know. And also she had this friend, his name was Shavy, and she and Shavy, you know, could have gotten him into trouble. I don't know. Phil might be able to back me up on certain things, but I'm I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I, I when you talk about things, and I, I never met your mom, but I've done, done shows, of course, with you and Phil and Mitch. So right. I, I sort of like I feel like I know the whole family now. The whole mishpocha. Oh. Yep, and then yeah, my and, dad. And and now yeah. I know, and now I know your best friend that we do the show. That's right. That's because there was a tush. Did, did, yeah. Yeah. Twins. yeah. I I I was thinking if they call you the Tush twins now, you would say that's very sexist. I don't know if you'd like it. That you know, like in, in today's today's mentality. It's an endearment because we're always together, and my husband. No, no, no I, I mean back then, especially you know with Tushes, it was sort of like a a non-threatening type of word. You know, it's Tush Tush. Well, we didn't do the Tush twins till we were older. We yeah, didn't we use that didn't, term. We were in our thirties. Probably thirties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, we didn't do no. this when we were kids. We were so, known as Faith and Rose, Rose and Faith, Paula, Maxine, Max and, and Paul. Uh, With hope and charity. <laughs> yeah, we always said we needed a hope and charity. Yeah, faith, hope, and charity. Well, I, yeah, I'm the Faith, and my middle name is Faith. I can yeah. I can legitimately use it because it's legitimately my middle name. And so, Rose is my middle name. And Rose is her name. So Faith Rose is a good is a good the, name. The, the, if, if you want to use a, a you know a, a going to acting if you wanted to or a pseudo good name Faith Rose. Yeah. Or Rose Faith. We'd have to go I'm together. Rose. <laughs> I use a double package if they want us. Yeah. Can, can you yeah. guys tap dance or? Uh... Tap dance. We used to go to tap dance tap class dance. together. Well, you can play the you could play the guitar and sing and do a little no, tap no. dance. Who, who was our teacher again? Career. Don Emmons. Don Emmons. Yep. We went we, to the Fala Fala Fall Change School of Tap Dancing. Did you guys you you guys can have a whole new career? You could uh, you know tap dance with a guitar and <laughs> sing songs and and tour the uh, sen <laughs> senior <laughs> residence. <laughs> Our knees, Max. I don't think so. What you, you, you could tour the our knees? I don't. Think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My my knees wouldn't go too far on that one. And I'm then, glad you I'm you walking. You could do a tour of this the senior citizens, uh, uh, you know, residences in Florida. No, make a fortune. Been there, done that. I don't want to do it. I couldn't do that now. It is not a good, um, not a good memory at this point. But uh, yeah, I don't even know if they're. I mean, they used to have entertainment, but uh, they still do. Or uh, well, I don't anything. know with the pandemic. It's I don't know what what's going on. I tell you because I I have a friend uh, that, that uh, does that. She yeah. she's, she does a uh, uh, what's her name uh, do, 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 the the comedian the one that died with the doing the facelift or Botox. Well, John River. Joan, Joan Rivers. Rivers. She, does, she is a fantastic Joan Rivers imitator, and she's a great uh, songstress. She lives in oh. Vegas now, but she does shows on that and she does tours. She comes here to do, do senior places, senior residence, and in Florida. Wow, that's cool. Well, we used to do that with the All City Chorus and Concert Choir, and I used to do it at Playboys to go to the veterans' hospitals and the old age homes. Well, the Madrigal did it too. Yeah, we did we it. We went all over, and you know, we went to different places to nursing home and, and uh, senior centers and stuff. I remember doing stuff with Madrigal. We went to different places. Yeah, uh, by the way, I have a show with the uh, American Legion. Oh, uh, that's nice. Uh, of Nassau. But what they do, you should call them up, the local one over there, because they do a lot of entertaining at, at vet hospitals for the that's soldiers. Nice. So if you ever think of you want to do some entertaining again, you know, give them, give your local uh, you know, post a, a call. Because they probably do something on Christmas and Thanksgiving for those uh, hospitalized. I don't know. Paul, would we go to Long Island? <laughs> probably not. <laughs> I don't know. Well, if you need it, I have a, a, a commander pad from, he's a commander of the Nassau County. We, we, we'd, yeah. have to re we'd have to rehearse. And then I would, th this goes back to how I would do this. I'm going to ask, I, I'm going to ask around. Because Zoom, unless they do something to, you know, make it easier to do that, 
Um, there's probably other ways. There's other ways. There are uh, the other. I, there are, there's other ways, but I we, we 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 will find a way if there's a way possible. You will find out, right? We will find out. I don't have Russian blood in me for nothing. Uh, it's more like German. Uh, so, it sounded. Yeah. You sound like sound. Colonel Flick. I was going to say that. And Schultz, I see Schultz. nothing. I know nothing. I see nothing. I know nothing. I see nothing. Um, Who John was it? That, One of them, either Colonel Clink or Schultz, were, uh, was was a poster boy for "We Want You" during World War II. Well, German um, Clink was an Orthodox Jew, and the only reason why he played that um, part. Is because you were making fun of the Nazis and making them look like idiots. That's the only reason he took the job. Yeah, I, I think his father, it's either him or his father, is a, uh, a, a concert uh, uh, pianist? Uh, no, a, a band leader. He, uh, like a maestro? A maestro. Oh. He was a very singer, famous. A singer and he was a, he was a musician. Uh, I, yeah, his name. I, I, I think his dad was a maestro. His dad was a maestro. Yeah. Really? That's interesting. Yeah. I, I mean, that that cast was pretty crazy uh, in general, but that was a I funny show. The play the French Underground, the guy, he really was, he was Jewish and he was uh, part of the original French Underground yeah. in true well, life. Well, Mel Brooks, you know, the, the reason, you know, he did the producers and the Nazism was a theme throughout was because he was in the army and he was in major landings and he did things, you know, he, he was in the war and he yeah. you know, hated Hitler. And I, so he brought it into a, a comedic, quote unquote. Yeah, I, 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 I don't see in, in today's uh, society whether you can get away with a song like uh, uh, Springtime, Springtime for Hitler. Hitler in Germany. Oh, Hitler and Germany. Come and join the Nazi bar. I mean, I, it's the the show when I saw it on Broadway. I mean, I just, I mean, the movie is one thing, but the, the show movie was oh. phenomenal. I think I've seen that movie. We saw it in the movies at the Elm Theater. We did on Avenue. Yes, you okay. and I at Avenue. We went on the Elm Theater. Well, right next uh, door. We I haven't heard the. the I haven't heard the the Elm Theater in a sentence for a long time. Well, I, I, I didn't see the play. I didn't see the play, but the movie with uh, Gene Wilder and uh, Zero Mostel. You can't, you, you can't beat those two. Well, Nathan Lane and uh, and Matthew Broderick were hysterical. Yeah, well, that was a Broadway. Nathan Lane, I saw the show twice. Yeah. I went to see it twice. And it was, I just, it was just great and deserved every Tony it got. So. But, but, but anyway, guys, I hate to tell you, but a little ding, 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 ding went off. Do you know, we didn't even talk about, I guess, fall. Now we can use it next week. <laughs> what were you we didn't talk about? about anything on the script that I wrote, except for William Shatner and how is your face? So other than that, we got, we got two out of it, right? We got two out of, yeah. I, I, in fact, I didn't even have any time to take a look at what you told it's me. It's all right, it's going to be next week. <laughs> Next week for next week for next we're going to learn about Paul the the Paula redhead Paula Rose Jilly's experience. So wow. you got to all stay tuned. Jilly's. Oh, oh by, by the way, just uh, Rusty, are you a natural yes. redhead? Yes, I am. Absolutely. Okay. Because I I have a uh, uh, cousin who actually just hit ninety years old, who's been a redhead all her life, and she's completely red now. Yeah, she's a she's. Okay. I vouch. Okay. Anyone on, on that note, I wish you both a good week. And you what too. we're going to talk about also, go Dodger Blue because they're... Go Dodgers. Are they playing the, tonight or tomorrow? No, no, tomorrow night, they play the fifth game against the dreaded San Francisco Giants. I know. Well, I'm, I'm a big... I'm a Dodger fan because Mitch loved the Dodgers. I, I, I was a Brooklyn Dodger fan and a New York Giant hater. Yeah, well... And it still sticks. It's It's sort of like... In the, in, in my the bones, it's right. in my bones. You know, I know, the, I know. Phil was very sad when they the Dodgers left, like he was crying, and he never forgave them. I think. Well, so. well again, to this old joke, I don't know if I uh, uh, said it, but if if you had a uh, uh, a Hitler 
and uh, I remember forgetting the joke. Save it till next time. <laughs> I'll save it. Till, I save it to next time. But it's a okay. funny joke. All right, only, remember only it for bullets. next time. Let's go Let's Dodgers. Um, go, go Dodger Blue. And let's hear it for the uh, Captain Curtain's face. And let's hear it for Paula's face. Yeah! For Paula's face. Bye. All right. Ciao. Me. Bye. <laughs> this wave. Wave.